What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're headed off to Heydays today. If I can even get out of my damn driveway. Hold on. Well, we have arrived. We hear the snowmobiles off in the yonder. So I realize most of you guys are not from Minnesota. You're not even going to know what the hell Heydays is. Heydays is the world's largest, at least in the damn United States. Let's say United States. I don't want to go too far. So Heydays is the world's largest event, but you got everything here. All the big names, all the big distributors, as you can see, all the flags. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit deeper in here. We just got here, so let's move forward. So the grass drags are one of the main things. And they don't play no jokes here. Comes for all the marbles. I don't know if they're lying or not. Let's see. They definitely had no jokes, no jokes. You see some of the most badass sleds here at Hay Days, that's for sure. Yeah, that is really sick. This is really cool. This thing is sweet. ZR200. What do you think so far, Cole? That's pretty tight. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. We gotta keep moving, otherwise we're not gonna see it all. It's giant. Yamaha has their sleds here, the sidewinders. a lot of these little sleds. I thought they stopped making these little ones, but apparently, apparently not. Yeah, they're, they're here and they're new, that's for sure. These new Articats here are probably one of my favorite here, 6,000. What the hell is a 6,000? I really like this build. I don't know what it is. They're going back to the single headlight, too. A lot of people have reverted to that look. As soon as the Yamaha Viper came out, it was all dual headlights. It brings an old school look to the sleds again, but they're cool. They're modern. Side by sides. All kinds of side by sides. Wildcat. This is not the track we've we seen, but this is just as interesting. We got a mud hole here. The machine has stood up and she fell off. She jumped back on and won the race. So it doesn't matter sometimes. I hope we're not getting yeah. muddy up here. Are we getting muddy up here? No, we're not. Here we go again. It's all about snowmobiles now. It's also about RCs. Some things are quick. Just the big boy. They're not even the gas powered ones either, they move that quick. There's the gas powered. Ha <laughs> ha 
They're pretty cool. They're definitely pretty cool. Some things at Heydays aren't even here intentionally for you to look at. But you still want to look at them because they're ridiculously sick. For example, this. And then you got this beast. American Force. Got another event going on over here. I'm thinking UTV races here, possibly. Oh no, this is the track I've seen. All right, now we're talking. Jim Sather running that Honda 250R all the way to the side right now. ATV there. races. my dream sled right here. That's the one that's the one I need in my life. This is uh, brand new though. Levi LaValley. These things are definitely becoming more and more prevalent as well. They're very cool. So we're in the swap meet area. This is how Heyday started actually out here. Well, it started south in the cities, but people kind of bring in all these parts and you can come and get your parts for something that maybe is a little bit more difficult to find. So for example, you just got literally just stacks of parts everywhere for everything. thing. Another nice sled here. See what they want for this one. 2900 for the F7. Just a few years back this would have been thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> Definitely a nice setup here. Money into this thing. So I found a sled. It's in the local area to me. Definitely is asking, uh, asking the price that I'm willing to pay. But of course, I didn't bring cash because I bought the truck. I was trying to be a responsible adult, and here I'm. It's not working out very well. It's not working out at all. So it's likely that I'm going to be heading to Brainerd, and I'm likely going to be buying a sled. I mean, I brought cash, but I didn't bring that much cash. So yeah, we're, uh, I kind of I kind of halted a little bit, thinking really in depth about that sled. So I kind of missed a few things, but nothing too too crazy. Oh yeah, I got some old sleds. We'll get this. We'll get this. The memory lane layout. Let's check these things out. lake event that's in St. Cloud or just outside of St. Cloud that they bring all these things out to the lake. Not Maybe not this place, but whoa, is that a red line over there? Oh, it is. Those things are so rare. A red line revolt over there. We're going to go check that out for sure. Old phaser right there.
The issue with the red line revolt is they tried to make a brand new everything, brand new engine, brand new everything, and that was their problem. They should have went with something that was true tried and tested. They wouldn't have went bankrupt right away. So they weren't able to really produce many of these things. Made in North Dakota, huh? 51 of them built, and then they're bankrupt. One of 14 built with the exhaust system. Yeah, so this thing is like rarer than rare. This is a mythic, mythic rare. <laughs> this is maybe the coolest sled at heydays, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because it's like a 2001? 2005. I never thought I'd see one of these in person. I wish I could sit on it, but of course I understand why I can't. Amazing to see that. I remember watching Sled Next 4. That's what uh, my dad bought Sled Next 4 when I was a kid. And in the beginning there's a cartoon and the guy's jumping a red line. The cartoon, the demon that comes out of the comes out of the grave and he's got worms all over him. Yet another gem here at Heydays. I know, I gotta get a picture of that pipe. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, we're, we're in the swap meet part here at, at Heydays, and uh, it's, it's the end of me. It's the end of me. Killing myself over here. It's what you do at Heydays. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna get some food here, guys. Catch up with you then. I ended up with some noodles. Noodles in a smoothie. Uh, back at the grass straight, right at the finish line, though. Oh, I shit, those ones are way quicker. Jesus. Those ones are way quicker. I wasn't ready for it. Is that white one? <laughs> I don't even think I got the white one. Now you know. Yeah, I know about that, did oh, you? I knew. I'm trying to talk Cole into getting a sled, cheap one. He's uh, not to be budged. Not to be budged at all. Oh, so I get it for like $100. $100? <laughs> well, you heard it first, guys. You got a $100 snowmobile. Cole will buy it from you. No engine, no nothing. He got it. He's got the cash for you. Just a shell. Just a shell. Just a hood, actually. Just a tunnel. But I'm going to start slow and mark, work my way from there. I'll start with the hood. Start with the hood. $100. Got to start somewhere. $100 hood, that's a heck of an expensive one. And then next season I'll buy another part. And then, you know, after a couple years, maybe I'll have By the time one. you're retired, you'll have, a, you'll have a 2001 snowmobile. <laughs> decision you wouldn't have bought it. Yeah, that's right. Cole wouldn't buy nothing unless it's a hundred dollars. Well, I bet you we can find you something. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Like I said, I found that one. It was like two hundred dollars. No engine. No engine. We got one with an engine for four hundred. So that's the grass strikes, guys. Obviously, that's going on Saturday and Sunday. They got all different classes. That was that was the the ludicrous mode class, obviously. The first one was still the best out of all of the very first ones. I think that was just a shock factor, though, is well, all it was. Me, I, I think know. it was just a shock factor, Cole. Okay, whatever, it's shock factor. <laughs> White one. how to ride that bowl. It's been on there for a while, man. That bowl ain't got nothing on there. And she's off, as soon as Cole says something. Yeah. And she's down. Still, she still lasted longer than that guy, though. Her arms are bigger than mine. Well, that's because you don't work out anymore, yeah, Cole. That's true. Once a week ain't gonna cut it, Cole. Good enough for me. Yeah, good enough for Cole. Yeah, but good enough for Cole is sitting at home playing video games. No snowmobile. Sounds like a blast. Uh, you notice his voice cracked there. He felt a little nervous saying that on camera. Starting line, we're going to give these 
guys. Six laps. Six laps of freedom. Looks like the Tri-Z is coming bar to bar with Daryl Rapp. Followed closely by Lynn Sabbath. These guys have been on fire all weekend. Lining them up, lining them up. Yep. Hey, Dave, one more time. Give it up for all these kids out here. Future Rangers of America. Dustin, let's get a quick word with all the kids out here today. Wow. They went through the kids racing a little bit. It's all first time. Lots of stuff going on at Hey, Dave. I don't think we can get through this way. We just walked back just to get these guys. <laughs> it was worth it. Well, we're coming up on the end of heydays, guys. Everyone's packing up. Everyone's packing up and getting ready to go. There's only about, what, about an hour left? What time is it officially? Almost four, so we're gonna make one little quick run and then we're gonna get out of here and try to miss a bunch of the traffic. Otherwise, it's gonna be hellish getting out of here. Yeah. Main thing I wanna say is we bought a snowmobile. I guess that'll be a video in itself, won't it? I was trying to be the adult and it didn't happen. We still ended up spending the money, but we can afford it, so we got to go for it. Yes, it was. It was a fun day. I enjoyed coming to Hay Days. I got a sunburn, though. Yeah, I was going to say, I got burned burn shit. All right, guys, we'll catch up to you in a bit. Show you some more cool stuff if we see anything. I didn't think we were going to show you thing, anything else, but this thing is ridiculous. Is that for a kid? 25000 I think it's literally for a kid. Yeah, I Dude, if I had that as a kid, that would have been great. You wish you had that as a kid? Yeah. This thing is pretty sweet. I thought I was cool as a kid with a snowmobile. My God, whoever whoever's kid had that. Wow. Tires are bigger than one you No, it's not, Cole. Maybe it is. I'm pretty sure it is. No, they're not bigger. 38s, they are bigger. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, it's awesome. I've been watching you since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. Take care. Yeah, good luck out there. Thank you. You guys don't know who that was. That's Tucker Hibbert. He wins it all every year. All right. Uh, just when you think Hay Days is done, you buy a snowmobile and you meet Tucker Hibbert. And we are officially out, guys. So I had a good time. Really did have a good time. Had a good time. Oh yeah, it was sweet. You shall return in the future. Yeah, I'll come back. Sure. Buy a snowmobile next time. Yeah, maybe. Hey, we're making leeway, and the battery just died. Battery died. That lasted all day. That one battery. So I was pretty proud of that. Definitely pretty proud of that. I brought three batteries, thinking I'd be going through all of them and using my phone in the end. And I definitely got pretty much. I think I'd say I got everything on camera that I wish to get on camera. But you can't really say that at Hay Days because I'm sure I miss one lane somewhere. So. With that said, guys, definitely appreciate you all tuning in, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos if you're sharing the videos. If you're not sharing the videos, definitely do that. New channel, need your help. All right, as I always, hope you all stay happy out there. Stay positive, and we will definitely speak to you guys next time.